Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the body cam arrest of James Madison Audits, aka Mark Douglas Dickinson, as he was picked up for his warrant for domestic battery after he brutally assaulted his wife and on top of that destroyed a bunch of items in the house and on top of that traumatizing his kids by putting them through a very, very intense situation that they did not need to see. I'll leave it at that. So yeah, he got picked up and we finally have the body cam footage. I also want to give you guys an update on the copyright strike that Mark Dickinson did. It happened about two weeks ago and now the counter notification is going through the process. The original video should be reinstated in the next week or so. So yeah, you can try to silence the truth, Mark, but the truth always comes out. But before we get to that, let me thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. Let me ask you a question. Do you value your life savings? If you do, you might want to pay attention to Lacey's story. This story is coming to us straight from the FBI's official website. Scammers managed to get access to her driver's license and social security number. They opened several bank accounts in several states and started taking a bunch of loans under her name. To this day, Lacey cannot even get a credit card and the lenders even threatened to repossess her home and her car. It will take years to repair the damage done to her credit, but luckily you can prevent that before it happens by trying out Aura. Aura monitors your credit for any suspicious activities like what happened in Lacey's case. And on top of that, they scan the deep web and the clear web for any mention of your personal information and sends removal requests to take it down. Now, there's no excuse to skip on Aura because on top of being only 12 bucks a month they are offering you a two weeks free trial if you click on my link available in the pinned comment and in the description so don't wait any longer and try out aura today now let's get back to the video How's it going, Mark? I'm alright. That's $2,000 in credit card and ID. Okay. I don't have anything on me, I just made sure I didn't do so. No, I didn't. They, 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 first rodeo no, I've never been arrested. No, I mean coming out here knowing not to bring any firearms, oh, hell, no. knives, or weapons. I have nothing on me. This one just tweaked really hard on that side. Oops. Uh, the right side. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I flip, count flop, it. Yeah. And I'll let you pound it down. Yeah, gotcha. So, as she was just explaining, we're waiting on Port Orange. Port Orange got the affidavit. So, they'll come out here. We just happen to be out here. All right. Spot, so, we'll stop until they get here. They're on their way. Yeah, I understand. As soon as they've got it, we'll get you in and then they'll process you and all of that yeah, stuff. So. I appreciate it. I, um, I know that uh, they said it was an armed bulletin, but I had cops telling me they're armed, armed, armed and dangerous. And I'm like, well, All right, whatever. But unfortunately, I get it. because you own firearms, that gets yeah. tagged with the other stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So gloves. Can we flip flop? You want to go down here real quick? Yeah, wherever you need me to. Which are we? It's up to you guys. All right. That's fine. To me. Um, yeah, the biggest thing is just keep that in. Yeah. Keep line of sight, and then uh, we'll just patch it down. Make sure. That's Absolutely. Yeah. My hair's fine. Yeah, I figured I'd come out here and make it easier for everybody because I don't need to be just driving out and someone say I can't and stuff like that. I we wouldn't do that, but the last thing that I want is, you know, somebody to have an issue of there being a problem for sure. I didn't even wear on the way. It's all good. <laughs> easier to handle it the right way and uh, Not ready. Oh, that's it. Yeah. At the end of the day, it'll all work out. Well, yeah, because yeah, we'll have to, we can't, we don't go through this way, we go around <coughs> the back side of the cell. I just went straight like that. I don't know why I went through this way. I forget that. It's been a hot minute. I was like, we don't have to get through. Yeah, go around. Hold that real quick, too. Sorry. Uh, whichever way you want to get in. Oh, I just didn't know. You're holding up to himself. You know, we just grab a grab a bag and put a stuff inside. Yeah. Yeah. I got a bag of that. Um, I wasn't even thinking. Realistically, mm -hmm. put it in a plastic bag. We'll hold it. 
Yeah, dude. keep it out here in your presence, and we'll give it to Fort Orange. That way, they can document it because um, they're going to need to document that to go into the branch yeah. um, with it. So, and we'll technically let them carry it around. So, um, I want to it out. They shouldn't be too bad. I, I literally called him when I was still in the lane and told him, so he is on the line. Hey, I just patted him down if you just want to search him. Yeah, I'll pat him down again, yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Hey, Hello, how are you doing? Oh, you know we know each other. Uh, thank you. Affidavit for your arrest? Yes, sir. I'm um, under arrest, then? You're right now when you switch cuffs, but yes, you are under arrest. All right, cool. Do not, not resist. Cool, but, oh, I won't resist. See what I mean, LT? He's got a uh, bag here. Uh, we hands? just placed his oh, items sorry. in it. It's got a... Uh, I'm going to move this hand. Do not do anything. Oh, I ain't going anywhere. I came out here. You want me to bend over? I can you see it. Can we over a little bit more? Yes, sir. Or ma'am, sir. Put this hand on your head. On my head. 10 Delta 5 8 Central. 10 Delta 5 8. I've got an open door at this house, a locked door. Can you just uh, send 5 3 my way? Five three. Put your other hand down. Five three. Copy. Over here, That's tweaked really bad there, Velez. I can't get around. Are you doing? Can I twist around? Thanks. Okay. He's got a um, cell phone, and according to him, two thousand dollars in cash. We have not counted it, okay. verified it, or any of that. We can stand by to help you yeah. if you need a second person to verify. Yeah. Got no problem with that, but we haven't. That's just what he said to yeah. us. Call Charlie five five seven. You log one now. Okay. All right, the key. Let me hear your clock. You have everything in this movie project. No, not at all. Okay. I don't think I have any clothes on, no underwear or anything like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Sir. He was the first one I got. You were missing my duty if I didn't fall off the line when I No, you have to, because that happened in Holly Hill with the two officers there. I don't follow the news, I just follow the news. Nope. Have a seat there, watch your head. Yep. Move these out of the way. Yeah, we just pitched it over there. Yeah, we can just hood, that yeah. hood, whatever. Uh, or Q, you want to put on that fancy spotlight of yours? Yeah. Quiet night up to now, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah.
Alright, so when I said turn that spotlight on, I didn't realize. <laughs> Currency forms or any of that. I got the 707. I got to sign or do, and I yep. just gotta have either them in there or yeah, we yeah, sign whichever. If one of y'all want to sign, but I didn't know if you had a currency form. Like we have a currency form. No, if I they have, have a, cash, I have a form right here. if something needs to be signed or whatever, we can certainly help with that. But yeah, I just didn't know if you needed a witness or whatever. No, I can get a pen out Okay, perfect. All right, bro. We'll be safe for sure. All right, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Noise complaint, anonymous. All right. She didn't want to lose those for sure. I will keep my tendency to keep licenses. All right, uh, thanks, guys. I'm just going to look around the front. All right. Sounds good. All right, good night. So there you have it. That was the arrest of Mark Dickinson. Now, before I let you guys go, I do have a bonus clip, and that is coming from our good friend, Joe Tatos. He totally humiliated Silence Boy once again. Check this out. What's up, everyone? This is Joe, Joe Tatos. And guess what? Remember that one every time I ran into Silence Boy, AKA Panocha Boy? Well, guess what? He's right here again. I'm not kidding. He, he's over here, right in front of the USC area. And I can see his dumbass from here, near where that Chick fil A is at. And I bet you, he's definitely going to remember me. Stay tuned, guys. This time for sure, I'm going to get him good. Let's see if this dumbass actually remembers me. What's up, Panocha boy? How you been? I'm gonna leave. I'm not gonna listen to you. <laughs> you're gonna leave already? Yeah. Already? You're gonna coward out? Yeah, I'm not giving you attention the last time. You're a bastard. Here we go. Oh, you think that really hurts me? Hey, you're still you're still showing off those one dollar rings, huh? Until next time, I don't want to see this pussy here. See, he's already, he's already bitching already. Until next time. What a little coward. Stop. Hey, so you want to confront Wimmick, but you want to confront me? Where are you going next time? Fuck you. That's where I'm going. No, I'm, I'm married, dude. This is what you call the electric bike of shame. Last time Joe Tatos roasted him for 30 minutes straight, it was beautiful. But I guess this time Silence Boy was too scared and didn't want the smoke. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description. You better check it out because that is hilarious stuff. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off.